most lasers are way too expensive and can only do half of what this little purple one can. I'm not saying it's perfect, but it does something I haven't seen in lasers at this price point. This is the Lumos from We Create, and we're starting with a banana. To start engraving, I put this on the engraving bed and opened up We Create software, Make It, and use the text option to write something. When I hit the autofocus button in the software, the unit is going to adjust to the proper focal length for the material. You can also use the auto adjust knob on the side of the unit. Now this engraving will be pretty accurate, but I can check for even greater placement accuracy with the framing feature, which does adaptive shape or rectangle outlines to negate any alignment issues. After I set the engraving parameters with a blue light diode, I smash the start button on top of the laser. So I have no idea why you would want to engrave a banana, but here you go. This engraved right around two minutes and 34 seconds, and I could have sped this up a lot faster if I would have changed the process path. I engraved another banana with a man slipping. I thought that was pretty funny. And I also engraved a pumpkin pie off camera. And let me tell you something. I am having a blast engraving random food items and just leaving them out for my family to see. So we know it can engrave food really good. Now let's move on to the real stuff. Let's take a look at the quality. One big thing we create is pushing is the 8K resolution engraving with the 0.00199 millimeters of motion precision. It captures fine details like strains of hair or subtle textures. So we are engraving this eagle on a piece of basswood. Okay, let me show you something. I ran this twice with the same setting and the second piece turned out better than the first. I guess that shows you what the different types of wood do. But as I'm looking at the fine detail here, like by the beak, I can see the fine individual hairs and everything else. So I guess the 8K detail that we create is talking about well, I guess it's working because that is looking pretty dang good for me. And this was a first guess test. I did this again and it did not turn out as good as the first time because I was just playing with some settings. So and if I'm being honest here, this is probably the easiest time that I've ever had with just engraving a project without anything going wrong. Moving on, let's talk about the speed. And this is where things get so interesting. The Lumos engraves at 4,000 millimeters a second, but they claim the Lumos is three times faster than the competitors because of the beam focus technology, which is a fancy way of saying they compress the laser dot for concentrated energy. So you are cutting time in half by 66% in some cases, according to their data. Okay, guys, let's see what happens. Wow. Okay, six seconds. And I could have gotten this down to about four seconds, but I left the speed running a little slower. That way I could get a lighter etch. Okay, let's see how fast we can get this. Oh, I can stop it. This is actually three seconds. Okay, that's a little light. We would need to run that a little slower. Let's run this again, a little slower. There we go. Okay, it's darkening up there. So three seconds and then another one, four seconds. Okay, guys, let me show you the way this dog tag turned out. If I get in the right light, you can see how dark this is. The three watt is really shining through on this with how dark it is. And if I run my finger across it, you can hear it and you can feel it on your fingertips. So anyway, we got a good dark engraving. The longer that you run the laser, meaning you turn the speed down, the darker engraving that you will get. If I turn this over, we have a picture of this eagle, which I should have ran this a few more times. When you get in the right light, you can see it. But the other side, it just did phenomenal. So anyway, some great testing going on here. The big thing about this laser is that it has a 10 watt blue diode and a three watt infrared diode, which allows for the engraving on all sorts of materials, including metal, like the jewelry you are seeing here. It is on a Galvo system, which is vibrating mirrors that shoot the beam all around. This is what makes it extremely fast. Most portable machines only have a two watt infrared diode like this Xtol F1, but let's talk about that shortly. And by the way, this may be the easiest time I have ever had with engraving between the software and everything just working right. I set the material on the base plate 
and it's just working and it's simple to use. When it comes to aesthetics, We Create definitely made a bold fashion statement with this purple color. I mean, it makes sense since it's their brand color, but I am just used to seeing tech being gray, white, or black. But it's cool to see the color choice. I suppose the same goes for the green Extol F1, just like you saw. On the laser itself, you have a sliding glass on the front to protect your eyes. And on the carrying handle, you have a power and a start button, which is all in one. And on the side, you have an autofocus button and a manual focus knob if you don't want to use the software for focus. And on the back, you have your normal plugins and boring ports to accommodate the different accessories that we create offers. And obviously, since this is a portable laser, it weighs right around 15.4 pounds with dimensions of 9.5 by 10.6 by 12.2 inches. And one interesting design element of the Lumos is that it comes in two parts. You have the head that fits into the body, secured in place by a bolt and a provided wrench. Now, I do have to add that both these parts do feel very premium, and I do appreciate we create not cheapening out on the material. Okay, we are now in portable mode. I took the head off its base, and it came with this small shield that plugs in with a USB, and it has magnets on it. So the way this works, you just click it right into place and we're going to connect this up to our phone or laptop and to a power source and we can go around and engrave whatever let's get started okay guys we are going to engrave my logo on the dirty garage floor i don't have to focus this because whatever is at the end of this protective glass is already in focus i have this hooked up to my ecoflow power bank and i have the laptop right here and we are ready to go Okay guys, it looked like it completed. Let's check this out. Man, that is too cool. I don't think that's rubbing off either. Man, heck yeah. Can you imagine people coming over here just finding just random stuff engraved in the concrete? I had the bright idea of engraving my old F-150. I debated doing the paint, but I think I'm gonna do the top of the molding here. And we're gonna make this fast because it's like 98 degrees outside. I know this is a little loud and you may not see it, but this is engraving perfectly over the bed molding. Well, there we go, guys. That is my old logo. And man, that is on there. On the engraving bed of the Lumos, there is a removable base plate that can be exchanged for a slat plate panel, which will be used for our next test, which is cutting. Now, to start, I am engraving and cutting out a picture of a dinosaur. I use this dinosaur image that I got off of Etsy. And this thing looks pretty cool. Now, the detail is there just like you saw with the eagle. And I decided to cut this out. And this is where the beam focus really shines through. I can tell that this 10 watt blue diode definitely has some power. I believe I'm at five millimeters a second. And this cut out in no time. I also cut out some designs and just put something down here font wise that I wanted to cut out just to test. You know, this is generic, but the beam focus, like I said, is really shining through. I believe this thing cut out clean. All the cut lines are crisp. Nothing is really overdone and I am happy. I wanted to do some more accuracy testing. So I wrote out this font over this miniature spoon. Everything did as expected, and I lowered the speed just a tad bit and cut this in half with one pass. I know this is obviously not the most interesting testing. I'm just showing you what this unit can do. I moved on because I wanted to cut some thick leather. I engraved another image of a Spartan helmet and swords and cut it out. And one thing to note here, everything is super clean. The charring on the edges are perfect. There is no inconsistency in the cutting whatsoever. And you know, for every laser video, we have to engrave some slate coasters. And I just picked this design up from Etsy from my old file I bought and everything looks pretty good. I mean, it's engraving as expected. Nothing groundbreaking, but cool nonetheless. You guys know I am on a food engraving kick right now. So I got this can of tuna. I'm going to stick this back in the cabinet and whoever finds it next will probably get a good laugh. You guys know I am crazy about engraving these ridge style wallets. Now I picked this red one up right here, laid the design right over the top and I'm kind of guessing on the settings here. And guys, this is engraving perfect. I mean, look at this 
right here. I'm not sure which way people hold these at. I wanted to try some flash paper. I know you guys are probably used to seeing this with all the x -tool testing, but I put the lyrics down to, I think, Amazing Grace, and I probably could have bumped the speed up just a little bit on this, but it is engraving fast and it looks great. Next, I wanted to test the different colors this can make on metal, which is a huge selling point for WeCreate. I ran a basic test grid on the front and back of the steel plate and you can see the cool colors you can achieve. Wow, guys, no pun intended. If you look, you can see the dark blue, light blue, and the goldish yellow. This turned out great. And from what I'm seeing online, so many people are having fun with this. The creative possibilities with the color are pretty awesome. I can see myself doing a lot of this. I didn't have a ton of time to experiment with all the colors, but you can see from the website and online, you can do some amazing things. Just like with any laser engraver, there are optional accessories that you can get. One being the rotary module for tumblers and the slide extension for larger and batch projects. And another one, which is the extended rotary module, which connects to the slide extension. It's pretty crazy. Okay, guys, we have the slide extension and let me show you this arrow. Along with the arrow, we have two holes. Those two holes directly line up over these two screws from the square right here. Everything is in your guide. It's super simple. So let's just put this over here and there we go. You can see it's lined up with this back screw right here. And do you see these sliding bars right here? I can just move these up or down depending on the material we are working with to secure everything. Well, I should have extended the text out longer, but you guys get the idea. The extension slider worked flawlessly. And if you guys are doing longer projects like this or want to bulk a lot of different materials, I do think the extension is a worthy upgrade. This looks super cool. I wanted to test the rotary module so I hooked it up and put a stainless steel tumbler on the rotary. Okay guys I have the rotary hooked up here and something I want to point out look right here I can take an allen wrench and turn this and adjust this cup up or down this is really made for rings but this is so cool and innovative and other laser companies should take notice. Now this moves around freely I have these centered up against the squares right here and I have a stainless cup on here and we are ready to engrave. Okay guys, this worked as expected and the thing that impressed me the most where I had this at on the software with a camera, that's where it engraved. Now if I turn this slightly, the camera may not be able to pick this up, but you can actually see some different colors. I'm seeing some blue and yellow in there. The camera may not pick up the yellow. Anyway, this turned out pretty good and the infrared is working great. Now I had the speed a little too high, so I ran a second pass and got a good dark etch. Now if I had more time, I would show you guys a full wrap on the tumbler. Those things are sweet, but you guys get the idea. We saw a lot of different cool projects, but let's get to the most important part. Even though this video is sponsored, you guys know I am going to tell you the truth. I think the big deal with this laser is that it is we creates breach into the portable laser market. Do I think they did it well? I do. And I think it was a phenomenal idea they had to make the infrared diode three watts. Every other portable laser I have seen has only been two. And to be honest, I see the power difference based on my previous experience with the x F1. And I can tell you the Lumos is more powerful and it's faster. Having a 10 watt blue diode and a three watt infrared gives you a ton of flexibility when it comes to material choices. Now with the early bird price coming in at $11.99, I believe the Lumos is definitely giving you more bang for your buck over the laser picker and my beloved x -Tool F1. And it kills me to say that, you know I'm an Extol fanboy, but it is what it is. Now this is my opinion. If I'm wrong or I have missed something, you let me know below. But if I had to be picky and point out something, I would have hoped that the engraving bed would just be a little bigger. Now it's slightly bigger than the Extol F1, but smaller than the Laser Pecker LP4. But then again, they would have to charge more if the engraving area was a little bigger. But the slide extension does fix the problem. And I know that's a minor nitpick, but I, I just wish it was just a tad bit bigger. And also, I know I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for this one, the purple. I'm just gonna say it's growing on me. Okay, it's growing on me. I'm used to tech being black, white, or gray, like I told you earlier in the video. So um, as far as aesthetics go, it is an, an attention grabber. It is uh, getting my attention being in here. I don't know how well it kind of like jives with the room. If you're into that stuff, I'm being nitpicky. This is what us reviewers do. But anyway, it, it's still cool. I know a lot of people online like it and I, I'll give it 
give it time to grow on me, but it's still performing great, which is the most important thing. If you need a solid portable laser and are on a budget, I think you will be happy. Even if you are not on a budget, you could spend that money and get the extra accessories and performance wise, still beat out the competition and pay less. The choice is yours. Now, I really wanted to dislike something about this little purple laser, but for my testing, I can't argue with the facts and the testing that I did. I plan on using this a lot more because it's simple to use and it does what I need it to do. There is an early bird promotion going on at the time of this video, so you can save quite a bit. Now, no matter when you watch this video, I will try to have the best price posted below with any extra promo codes. Now, going through my links will help the channel at no extra cost to you, and I can't thank you enough for thinking of me if you choose to buy any laser from WeCreate. Your support goes a long way, and it helps me help people make decisions like you are trying to make now. And I'm not trying to be up here being a shill. I'm trying to provide you with the most unbiased look as possible, showing you real world results. I'm personally happy with the Lumos and will probably be using this over my F1 now. And it breaks my heart to say that. <laughs> I love my F1. But if you want to be able to engrave on a ton of things on a budget, we create has definitely undercut the competition with this one. And I know a lot of the laser companies are not going to like hearing that or probably like seeing this right now because I know they are getting a lot of orders. If you haven't already, hit subscribe and join the family and hang out with us. And if you have a question, post it below and we can talk. And remember, there is no blueprint for creativity. It is discovered as you go. Take care, guys. See you later.